हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ लेट्स डू आवर पार्ट टू आई होप यू रिमेंबर इन पार्ट वन वी हैव द आइडिया अबाउट द रियल सिनेरियो पार्ट वन वी ऑलरेडी फिनिश सो नाउ लेट्स डू द पार्ट टू इन पार्ट वन व्हाट वी डन वी कॉन्फिगर द इफ यू रिमेंबर इन आवर प्रीवियस क्लास व्हाट वी डन हियर इन दिस सिनेरियो वी कॉन्फिगर बी जी पी हियर वी कॉन्फिगर बी जी पी हियर वी कॉन्फिगर बी जी पी हियर एंड हियर इफ यू रिमेंबर फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर वी कॉन्फिगर ई बी जी पी ओके एक्सटर्नल बी जी पी एंड हियर ऑल्सो ई बी जी पी बिकॉज डिफरेंट एयर्स हियर इज हंड्रेड हियर इज थ्री हंड्रेड हियर इज हंड्रेड एंड हियर इज टू हंड्रेड एंड हियर इंटरनल वी हैव द इंटरनल वॉट वी आर यूजिंग वी आर यूजिंग द what we can say ibgp okay so what we told in our previous class we told this is our head office we taken the two connection from the isp1 this is a isp1 this is a isp2 we taken the two connection and we buy the ip address that is the public independent ip address that is uh, we can say we have the range of the ip address we buy from the aina or isp one the ip we assign the public ip here one we assign to other gateway and here we will have the firewall and we have some server so we will point out that ip to the our server also so this is the different scenario we will see this later now understand this is our office here we are getting the routes from the isp1 and isp2 in our previous class we told we are going to divert the routes like example if i want to send any traffic i want to send from here not from here or if i want to send from here receive from here how we can do like by using the bgp attribute i add as we discuss by using the bgp attributes we can play that one so we will see that in the coming classes no issue and if you see if you remember in our previous class we advertised this route and when we check we are getting this route from here also and also we are getting this route from this isp also okay from here to here so in this router if we are checking we are getting from the isp1 and from isp2 we are getting this route 3.3.3 but if you remember in the real scenario if you are working in the enterprise network isp will ask you you need the complete bgp table or you need the only default route so we will say i don't need the complete bgp table because 8 lakh routes are there in the bgp table if you want to take complete routes then you need to have the high powerful router here for enterprise network no need to have that router isp is maintaining that router so what we will say i don't need the complete bgp table i don't need the complete route give me the default route so whatever if anyone is going from here facebook twitter linkedin or youtube anywhere they can go to uh, our gateway and they can go from the default route so we will ask them to give the default route not the bgp table so what isp will do isp will configure here he will configure to this neighbor as a default route they will use the route map and they will filter the other routes they will say only forward the default route same thing they will do here also okay for sample purpose i use this one so now what we can look we will check this route we are getting and how isp is going to send the default route and how he is going to remove this route okay now we taken only sample as one but if you want really if you want complete bgp table it is a very heavy table it will have the lot of routes more than 8 lakhs route you will have in the bgp table okay let me show you what i can show you here if this is isp1 isp2 let me take the r1 and r2 let me open the r1 this is a r1 okay and let me take the r2 also here is the r2 now i have the r1 r2 and bgp1 bgp2 that is isp1 isp2 so same configuration whatever we done i will write show ip route here if you see i am getting the route this 3.0.0 from the bgp b stands for bgp i am getting this route from the isp imagine you will have 8 lakh routes from the bgp from the isp if you tell isp give me all bgp table all routes then they will give you you will have 8 lakhs route here okay but generally in the enterprise network we are not using that one we will ask isp give me default route only 
in our lab purpose i only use one route showing you that this is the bgp route we are getting so many routes we will have but we will ask isp i don't need this route i need only the default route okay so let me show you one more thing if i write show ip bgp you will get here also if you see here this is the route 3.0.0 you are getting from two places this is 2.2.2 and 1.1.2 so if you check here what is 2.2.2 and what is 1.1.1 if you see 2.2.2.2 means this one you are getting from the isp2 and if you see 1.1.2 this is getting from the isp1 so this same route you are getting from two isp because you have the two isp you taken the connection from two isp you buy the provider independent ip addresses okay so you are getting the two routes now you are asking the isp i don't need the bgp table i need only the default route so how isp will do the configuration isp let me take here this is isp1 okay so isp1 what configuration they will do they will go here let me okay i will go here imagine i am the isp you told me i need only default route so what isp will do isp will write router bgp 200 okay because we are running here 200 and then he will write neighbor which neighbor which customer is asking customer edge we can say this is a customer edge router this is a provider edge router so which customer is asking me to give the default route this one so i will write neighbor 1.1.1.1 okay 1.1.1 and then I will write default information originate same as we do in the OSPF like that same concept here also I will write neighbor and which neighbor is asking me I will write default information originate as we are using in the OSPF same here default originate okay if you see here just I will press enter so with this command I am asking BGP to send the default route okay with this one I am sending the default route but if you go in our uh, uh, what we can say the customer edge router you will have the default route if you see here you will have default route also let me show you here let me write show ip route show ip route still it is not there it will take some time and also sometime we need to clear also let me check clear ip bgp star soft and here i think it will come bgp is a slow protocol it will take time to bring here let me clear also to become the do the fast show clear ip bgp star soft okay and now let me wait and check show ip bgp i can write here show ip uh, show ip root now check still it is not there let me verify what i type in which isp i told neighbor 1.1.1 I need default originate okay I am saying to ISP1 I need this default route so this default route he should send here okay let me check now it came or not yeah if you see now it came BGP is a slow uh, protocol so it takes some time and it has the default route he give me the default route okay I am happy that I have the default route but the problem here if you see he give me the this route also imagine 8 lakh routes are also coming from the bgp i don't need this route i need only default route so what we need to do we need to do uh, not we if you are working in the enterprise network you will not do anything isp will do what isp will do isp will create the route map and they will uh, send only default route they will filter other routes how we can do that one first we need to create the route map or we can do the prefix list if you see I use here prefix list we can use prefix list or we depend which one we want to use which one suitable depending upon our practice we can analyze which is suitable where we can use that one so here I use the prefix list so what I am doing here I am creating one prefix list here okay IP prefix list in this one I am saying we can give any name I am saying ABC you can give anything I am saying here permit 0.0.0 .0 slash 0 that means any uh, default route this is nothing but default route any ip with any subnet mask so i am sending i am saying allow this default route send this default route okay so what i need to do i need to go here in the global configuration mode and i will put this one so this is a prefix list 
I created. Now I need to apply. Where I need to apply to the neighbor. I need to say when we are going to this neighbor, apply this list. Okay. So what I will do, I will write neighbor and this is my neighbor IP and then I write prefix list and what prefix list I created ABC. So I will write the prefix list name and where I need to apply out because our root is going out, right? If you see if anything is coming inside to ISP, if you want to apply coming inside to ISP, we will write in here. But now whatever is going from our, our site, that is nothing but we are sending here from here to here that is out. So we need to write out. So this root we need to apply here. How we will apply? We will write router BG, uh, router BGP in 200. Okay, we go inside this one and now we will apply this neighbor and we will filter this one. Okay, if you check here, you will have the default root and uh, let me show you and also you will have the other root also. Why we will have, I will show you. If you see here, you have this root. Okay, this one we already configured. So this is there, no issue, everything is good. Here, this one we remove, but it's still it is there. If we remove from the prefix list, but it's still it is there. Why it is there? Because it is coming from the second ISP. If you see second ISP is sending that one. So second ISP also need to do configuration, same configuration, then it will remove. How I know? Let me show you. If I write here, show IP BGP. Okay. When I write show IP BGP, you can see this root we are getting, right? We don't need this root. We need only default root. If you see here, this is a star and greater than symbol. Star means valid. Star means valid and greater than means best. So this is a valid and best root I am getting from the ISP2. We put the IP prefix list in the ISP1. So ISP1 is not sending that root. He is sending only default root. But ISP2 is sending me. So if I need, I don't need this whole BGP table. So what I will do, I will tell to ISP2 also that I need only default root. I don't need this one. So how we will do that one? We will tell to ISP, just open the ticket with the ISP. Say I don't need the whole BGP table. I need only the, only I need the default root. Okay, so how ISP will send the default root? He will write router BGP. Okay, imagine now I am an ISP, I, I am doing the configuration. So AS they give 300 and then he will write neighbor and he will check the who is my neighbor who need only default root. He will go here, he will check this is my neighbor. So I will write two dot, let me write here two dot, two dot, two dot, one. And then he will write default, default originate. Okay. If he write this one, you will get the default root from the ISP. But the problem, you will get the 3 dot, uh, 3 dot, 3 dot, 3 dot root also. We need to apply the prefix list here. Let me show you. If you go here, if you check here, it will take some time. After that, you will have the default root from the ISP2 also. Uh, what I can do if you let me write show clear IP BGP star. Solve. Okay, let me wait some time. I will show you we are getting the two default root also. Let me show you. It will take some time. If you want, I can do one more thing. I can remove this. But before I want to show you two uh, default root we are getting from ISP. I want to show you that one. Let me check here. This is a R2 gateway 2. So here we can check show IP root. We are having default root here still not show IP. BGP yeah if you see now we are getting two default root if you see this is the default root from the gateway 2 and this is the default root from the gateway 1 in the router 2 that is a gateway 2 that is a gateway 2 is showing that he is getting the default root from the ISP 1 and ISP 2 and he is treating this one is the from the ISP 2 is the best one in the R2 and this root is still there okay let me check in the R1. Let me go in the R1. I will check in the R1. If you see here in the R1, we are getting the default root. This is the default root I am getting from two places. This is the one place and this is another place. So I am getting the default root from the two ISP. This 1.1.1.2, 2.2.2.2. .2 so this is a ISP1, this is a ISP2. Both ISP sending me the default root. Okay, both ISP sending me the default root. But here problem is ISP1 is sending me default root that is 
what we can say star and the greater than symbol that is a valid and best but here the isp2 is not a best anyhow no problem our traffic will go from here but the problem here we are getting this root also we don't need this root 3.0.0.0 we advertise here isp advertise one root but in the real scenario you will have more than 8 lakh roots so we don't need that one to overcome that type of issue what we need to do we need to just tell to isp i don't need the complete bgp table i need only default root so isp will do what isp will do he will create the prefix reads and he will filter the traffic so how we will do first one he will create the prefix list we can use any name so i will use this one what i will do here i will create the prefix list i am saying the ip prefix list abc permit 0.0.0 .0, .0, and then after that i need to apply this prefix list to the neighbor i am here i created the prefix list i need to apply to neighbor which neighbor this one so i need to go inside uh, bgp router bgp 300 and then neighbor which is the neighbor i think 2.2.2.1 this one this is a neighbor right this is a neighbor so i need to apply to this neighbor so what i will do i will apply to this neighbor so i will write here prefix list and give the name whatever name we use and out because traffic is going out that's all so what we done we created the prefix list and we apply to that neighbor now we can save the configuration okay and here also i will save the configuration for the r1 r1 we did not modify r2 also we did not modify today but anyhow let me save the configuration only we done in today isp1 in isp2 so let me save in the isp1 and isp2 okay let me check here isp1 i save isp2 already we save let's see the roots what we are getting in the r1 and r2 let's see here also we can check here also yeah if you see i am here in the r2 we are getting the root from here only the default root before if you see we are getting this one when i when we apply the prefix list what we are saying block everything only send the default root so now we are getting the default root in the gateway 2 if you want to check in the gateway 1 we can check if you see we don't have the other root here before if you see we are getting the 3.0.0 but now we have only 0.0.0 so isp is sending you to, sending you the default root so what you need to remember when you are working in the enterprise network and when you have the two isp or only one isp also depend your company small or big how much budget they have maybe you will have one isp maybe you will have two isp whatever isp you will have you will ask them you send the default root only default root you don't need the complete bgp table so isp configuration will be that type and your configuration will be here okay and what else i can show you let me show you here show ip root if you see we are getting the root only one that is a default root from the bgp if you see this bgp this b star okay if you see somewhere here written b b is nothing but bgp star is nothing but that is a, a root default root okay so what we can say i am getting the default root from the isp okay so now if i want to ping anything example if i want to ping 3.0.0 3.3.3 3.3.3.3 it will work whatever root you want to ping all are present in the isp router and you can ping you can access no issue imagine you have one server okay imagine you have one server you want to advertise that ip in the isp cloud how we can do we are going to learn in our next class okay what i am saying imagine this ip you buy from the aina okay you buy this ip from the aina this is not advertised in the isp cloud your duty to advertise this in the isp cloud because this is a provider independent not provider dependent ip okay so this is independent you have this ip you need to advertise in the isp cloud so in our next class we are going to learn how we can advertise our network in isp so isp will get this route in the isp table if you see here in the isp table this is isp table if you write here show ip route show ip route 
you don't have here your network this one 200.1.1.1 here nothing 200 dot no entry if you check this way also show ip bgp you don't have because you did not advertise in the isp because you did not advertise if anyone want to ping your network imagine you have server that 1.1.1 ip if anyone want to access the server no one will access because you don't send this route in the isp cloud so no one will access your website okay so imagine in our next class what we will do we will imagine that we will have one lan network like with this range and we want to advertise in the isp this one so how we can advertise our internal server in the uh, isp or we can say in the cloud isp cloud in the internet how we can advertise our internal server on the internet we are going to learn that one in our next class okay thank you